In this video, we'll outline the main trekking options in the Annapurna region. First, you'll need to know where Annapurna is located. The Annapurna peaks, and there are at least five peaks carrying the name Annapurna, are located in the Annapurna Sanctuary area, just north of Porkera. There are a host of seven and eight thousand metre peaks in this sanctuary. Various trekking options get you close to some or all of them. Just about all Annapurna treks start from Porkera, located west of Kathmandu and reached by a 35 minute flight or a one day road trip from Kathmandu. There are three main treks conducted in and around the Annapurna region. Short treks into the high foothills that provide spectacular views of the snow-capped mountains. Treks into the heart of the Annapurna Sanctuary and to the Annapurna Base Camp area. Much longer treks that complete a circuit loop right around the Annapurna Mountain Massif. We'll start with a look at the short treks designed to provide fantastic views of the mountains with just a few days trekking. The peaks of the Annapurna Massif are only about 40 kilometres north of Porkera. So a short drive and just a day or two walking will get you into the high foothills where the mountain scenery is spectacular. The most common mountain scenery short trek is to the village of Goranpani and the Poon Hill Lookout just above the village. It is a fantastic experience. Most people aim to experience sunrise over the Annapurna Mountains from the 3,200 metre vantage point of Poon Hill. Reaching Goranpani is usually a two day walk from the entrance to the Annapurna Sanctuary. Many people then return to Porkera via an easy loop through other villages and the main valley into the sanctuary. Others just make this the first leg of a longer trek to Annapurna Base Camp. But there are also panoramic short trek and accommodation options throughout the foothills. So contact us at Langtang Trekking if you would like to know more. The most common trekking destination in the sanctuary is to Annapurna Base Camp, the starting point for many climbing expeditions. Depending on the route, this can be about a 7 to 10 day or even 14 day trek. There are villages and accommodation options all along the trekking route. The scenery is spectacular. The altitude is not too high, less than 4000 metres throughout, and the walking trails are well made and relatively easy walking. The third trekking option is to circumnavigate the entire Annapurna Massif. This is the Annapurna Circuit Trek. There are a variety of different shorter and longer versions of this trek, some which involve terminating the trek north of Annapurna at Johnson and returning to Porkera by air. Others branch off into remote valleys and high passes and others continue on foot all the way to the sanctuary entry gate just north of Porkera. So some treks can be as short as 12 days and others 21 days or longer. While the main appeal of this trek is its spectacular scenery and the experience of visiting remote villages and their people, another attraction is its suitability for trekking right through the midsummer monsoon period. Because the trek runs north of the mountain peaks, the trek is in the mountain rain shadow and so can be comfortably completed any time other than the depths of midwinter. So these are just the three main trekking routes in the Annapurna Sanctuary area. Plus there are a lot more valleys, villages, lakes, high passes and festivals that can be included in a customised itinerary trek. If you need help to plan your trek, please contact Pampa. She has the answers to all your questions. We hope to see you soon at Langtangri Trekking and Expedition.